In this session, we're actually going to go in and look at the driver dashboard and the setup window. So first things first, we'll go up here to open. You can view this in Track Studio or Track View. Uh, in this case, we're just going to open up a data file, um, select it, hit OK. Uh, so first thing you'll see, you'll see the map pop up the and some by distance graphs and things. Now the dashboard is on the upper left. Now this is pretty key. This shows you the driver information, the date of the file, as well as the file name, the recording rate that it was recorded at, the speed, G-forces, lap, lap time, uh, segment, um, and gearing. The big thing about the dashboard is the setup button. The setup button is essentially the magic button that allows you to get access to all of your laps. So here you go. Here's uh, the driver tab and you'll see all the different laps in this particular session. As you can see already, the best lap is highlighted. You can go down here to the bottom and select all laps and it will all, it'll highlight all the real laps not the first lap out which was basically the out lap and the in lap in so it's just going to select all the main ones or the best or none at all uh, in this case we're going to select the best lap on the left here you often see this collapsed and it will be the distance graphs or the time graphs and this is typically what you see when you first open the program um, it's important that you click on the distance graphs if you're interested in getting something like velocity versus distance or acceleration versus braking or lateral G's versus distance. These kind of types of graphs are pretty common in magazines and things like that and they can be the same under time graph as well. So you can select either which you prefer. Um, one, the next thing we'll look at is the bottom tab here under car setup. Now car setup, this particular file was created using a track dash, so a lot of the information was already inputted in the track dash and translates right over. But if not, you can enter in the track name, car, change any information there such as the weight, um, the drag coefficient, any car notes such as say you tried a different setup, track notes like it was raining. Um, you can also input the gear information and uh, that will give you the gearing and things like that. Driver information, same kind of thing. Just uh, maybe somebody else drove the car or you weren't feeling well, something like that. Um, options is uh, handy. You can see under the general section here you can actually specify where the file path goes to as well as the uh, path to video files if you're using Track Studio. Uh, and the path to trackmate um, firmware files as well as change units and things like that so that's basically the setup window anything else that you want to look at on here you you can uh, select and then you can also save screen layout so if you have a um, particular screen layout that you use every time it's important to save it and then that way it's uh, exactly the way you want it the next time you open a file and that's it for the setup window.